Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And this afternoon, I wanted to do another little comparison video here on two vintage pen models here that have been out of production for a good number of years now, actually. So right here, we're looking at, at two level wine models here that they offered at one time. So this is the Pen 210 and the Pen Mag 10, okay? Uh, and so, you know, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the differences and, and, you know, some of the similarities here, you know, between these, these two models here. Uh, you know, obviously size is the first thing that sticks out. You know, the 210 is quite a bit larger than, than the, the, the Mag 10 here. Uh, but one thing to note um, about these models is they came out in the early 80s and they were discontinued in the, in the mid-90s. I think the Mag-10 lasted just a little bit longer than the 210 for a while, uh, but uh, it, but they both uh, they both incorporated uh, stainless steel ball bearings on both sides, which was not a common thing for a level wind reel uh, that Penn offered. Uh, it, they usually just incorporated the standard bushings. Okay, but uh, as I mentioned uh, with the with the Mag Ten, the the Mag Ten actually has a magnet uh, built into it on the on the side, and uh, and that's handy for when you're casting. It's mag tuned, and so it uh, it, it acts as a break uh, for your spool. Okay, the two ten, however, does not incorporate uh, the magnet. Uh, even though, you know, they, they look like they're, you know, of the same generation, you know, which they are. Uh, and a lot of the time the 210 can, can be labeled uh, Mag-10 just because it was, it was part of this run of, of series that Penn offered, you know, at that time. But it does not have the magnet in the 210. But it does have the stainless steel ball bearings. So it's got a nice smooth operation. Okay. Uh, the 210 has an oversized torpedo handle, which is also nice, you know, for, you know, for, for leverage, you know, when you're fighting big game fish. Okay. It does have a four to one gear ratio in, in this, uh, which, which is, you know, considered to be kind of an oversized set, you know, for a reel of that size. I also recently did a comparison video on the 210 versus the 209, uh, because those two are very, very similar in size. Okay. But the, uh, but the, Mag 10 is just a great all-around reel uh, for all different kinds of fishing, and uh, it's uh, it's definitely one of my go-tos for sure. Uh, but uh, but these are uh, you know at this point you know uh, parts you know to you know find you know find for these uh, models can be somewhat difficult uh, depending on what you're looking for, especially this model. Uh, but they're both great, and if uh, if you have either one of these models, I would I would suggest keeping them because there's not a lot of them out there anymore, at least not in great shape. So, so there you have it. Thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, make sure you do subscribe, hit the notification button. That way, you will be getting updates as to when there are new videos coming out, and we'll see you next time.